breaking crypto news. JP Morgan says all the recent collapses in the crypto ecosystem have been from centralized players and not from decentralized protocols. So the revolution of blockchain technology is decentralization and that is the future long term. But in the meantime, we have to deal with corrupt centralized institutions. So let's dive through what is going on. FTX contagion hits Winklevoss twins as crypto lenders come under fire. Genesis halts lending redemptions after withdrawals pour in. It is a key partner for crypto exchange Gemini's yield product. That product pushes billions of dollars in volume, so it's a huge deal. And yes, pretty much any crypto organization that dealt with leverage is going to blow up because of this. That's how it seems right now. Typical banking liquidity crisis. Now, a lot of crypto exchanges don't deal in fractional reserve banking. They include Robinhood. They include Coinbase, some other solid exchanges. Let's dive through what is going on with Crypto.com. Crypto.com has zero exposure to Genesis and Gemini Earn. The CEO of Crypto.com was on CNBC. As mentioned in my CNBC interview yesterday, Crypto.com is sitting on plenty of our own capital held in USD and stable coins above the one-to-one -one reserves we keep for client funds. That is the difference. If you have over one-to-one -one reserves, no matter how much capital clients move off the exchange, you won't have a bank run that takes the company insolvent, which is happening to a lot of these levered exchanges. This happened recently. Within 24 hours, Crypto.com has minted a total of $260 million in USDCs from Circle. This has increased their stablecoin reserve to $500 million despite the large outflow. So the worst could be over, but we're staying on top of this liquidity crisis. Here is an asset that is linked to Crypto.com, Cosmos, or the Atom token, which is an inter-blockchain asset. This is the total value lock on the Cosmos ecosystem broken out by chain. You can see in gray is Kronos. So Cosmos is exposed. They already lost a lot of liquidity from the Luna Terra collapse. Now here we have crypto.com. So just keeping you posted that Cosmos is directly affected by that. You have Thorchain, you had a Terra Classic, Osmosis, Canto, and then Kronos is the biggest one. So just keeping you posted there. Now let's stay on top of some of these revolutionary assets that are trading at deep discount because of this, because of a few bad apples, the rest are trading off and are on sale. So let's look at Polygon, 190 million unique addresses. Look at this growth since July, 2021, an absolutely massive pump. This is a serious, serious asset. Now pay attention to April, 2021. Look at the total addresses here. Look at where we are now. Now let's take a look at the price action of Polygon. Here is April 2021, and here we are now. So the price is literally exactly the same. It hasn't moved, even though the fundamentals of the asset have boomed, right? Now let's take a look at the WAX blockchain. We have some stats out. There's 13.8 million total WAX blockchain accounts. There's 390. 2,000 unique active WAX wallets in the last 24 hours. There's 59,500 total WAX NFTs sold in the last 24 hours. So there is some serious growth on a lot of these assets selling off in the crypto winter. Let's take a look at Polkadot. Number one in 30-day developer activity ranking in September, 1 million plus cumulative dot holders. Let's see how that compares to SafeMoon, which just reached 700,000 addresses. You can see that uptrend. We are staying on top of this market.